short-term renters who want to avoid hotel costs. This is just one of those examples. Special interests ranging from hotel lobbyists to tax collectors to legitimate concerns about prostitution are conspiring to regulate Airbnb out of business. So who is right? A debate now between L.A. attorney Anahita Saragatfar and NYU business professor Arun Sundarajan. Folks, I'm going to use your first names if you don't mind. I was lucky enough to get through <laughs> the first pronunciation. Names. Thank you very much. Arun, let me, go to you. let me go to you first, Arun, because there are some legitimate complaints, uh, particularly among neighbors who say some of these uh, short-term renters are, are, are prostitutes and really pulling down the whole neighborhood, if not the building itself. Uh, but isn't this primarily about established interests, the hotel lobby and the tax man trying to protect? Well, established interests do sort of step in and um, use what they can to sort of try and make sure that the interests that they have are preserved. Right. And Anahita, I don't know about you out in Los Angeles, but right here in New York, the hotel lobby has a lot of influence with not only the city government, but with the state government. And they are conspiring. Right. The tax man is conspiring with the mm. lobbyists to prevent Airbnb from doing what they want to do. There is a conspiracy going on. I don't know about a conspiracy, David. And look, I'm the first to say that we need less governmental regulation in industries. But in this particular case, Airbnb is operating essentially with no regulation. And what's happening is it's creating a host of problems. It's creating problems for the cities who are unable, for the most part, to collect any type of tax from this revenue. It's taking away the city's ability to even zone within their jurisdictions. It's creating problems for landlords who are now forced to assume all of this additional liability. That's a liability they never bargained for. It's even creating problems for homeowners, neighbors of these individuals, because now their property values are going down when they're living next door to these makeshift well, hold on hotels. A second. I, so, I, again, I, I don't think, know about, excuse me, I don't know about Los Angeles. Property values in Manhattan are not going down. Let me assure you. And Arun, I, I got to... Capital and increasing productivity. And so, you know, it's natural at this point in time for, um, you know, the traditional industries to feel that the new models are not fitting into and, the old regulatory and boxes. And Anahita, I got to say, there are a lot oh, of young right. people who are taking advantage of this, and, and they're becoming entrepreneurs, individual apartment owners yes. who are, are worried Absolutely. about being kicked out of, of their apartments, right. but who now are using this service in order to supplement their income so they can stay where they are. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. And David, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm all for innovation. I'm all for finding creative ways to make money. But in this particular case, let's say you're buying a house or you're renting a home. Maybe you didn't buy or rent thinking that you're literally going to be living next door to a makeshift hotel. There are problems with transients, people coming in and out. There have been incidents where there's been prostitution, drug sale, drug use. I mean, if I'm buying a home or I'm renting an apartment, I would like to know whether or not that area is zoned well, for commercial in, in, purposes. In, in, Arun, so hold on a second. Yeah. In, in New York, we have co-ops yes. and condos. I mean, that's Absolutely. basically the form. They are mm -hmm. very strict. Condos and co-ops. I'm going to have to cut in you when off in mid-sentence because of we have to go. But I have to give Anahita the last word because I gave Arun the first. Go right. ahead, quickly. I agree with Arun to a certain extent that we do have to promote people to be creative and find ways to make money, but there is a balance between innovation and regulation. So I think we do need to have okay. some regulations to address these problems. Last word to Anahita. Arun, thank you both for being thank here. Appreciate you. it. Liz, thank you. over to you. Well, David, from owning to...